guys i think i have missed the bus i've missed the bus missed the bus <laughs> but i look so good <laughs> So guys, as fate would have it, I am walking to the plaza. Go figure. <laughs> yeah, I'll be so tired by the end of today because I'm starting my day with a very, very quick walk because I am late. I don't like keeping people waiting, but I can't do anything about it right now. I can't wait till 11.15 because that will be even later. So it takes about 20 minutes to use the bus to the plaza and it takes about, um, it takes about uh, 25 minutes. To 30 minutes if I walk very quickly to the plaza so that's what I'm going to do I don't think Sophia is in a rush though <laughs> she's told me not to worry so I will not be worried let me just walk very 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 quickly <laughs> hmm. I love my outfit I love my hair I missed this hair so excited Wow, this place is so abandoned. So guys, let me tell you a little something about me. Um, it's something interesting, but something not very interesting at the same time. I am really an insomniac. So this is what happened. Sometimes, like yesterday, I couldn't fall asleep at all. Uh, my insomnia is usually caused by a few things here and there. Not stress, like I, I'm rarely stressed as a person generally. But uh, what happens is when I do something very exciting, I get so much adrenaline that it lasts up until bedtime. And that's exactly what happened yesterday. So what cost me, what gave me so much adrenaline is something very funny. Um, I had not gone to the mall at all in like a month because I've been here for what? It's a month now, I think. And I had not shopped online. I had not set foot in a mall. I usually just walk around, pass by different stores when I'm going to the plaza, never went into any of them. So I haven't looked at anything, you know, fashion-wise. But generally, I'm a person who really loves clothes. Like, I really, really, really love clothes. I love shoes. And yesterday, for the first time, I went to the mall. So the mall is in a place called La Morea. And the mall itself is called La Morea. It's quite far away, thank God. Because if it was nearby, I think I would probably do quite some damage. But yesterday, I went there. And when I just set foot in, I was like a kid in a candy store. I mean, all these brands that I usually, like, order things from, they're right there like physically so i went there just to buy two pairs of jeans a black and a blue pair because i was lacking in you know some basics um i came to europe with a lot of fancy stuff quote unquote fancy depending on how you look at um the outfits i've been wearing but yeah so i needed a few more basics to add to my collection of clothes here because i'll be here for another one month and a week i ended up buying six pairs of jeans <laughs> instead of buying just two so i bought four at primark I liked them, but then I went into Stradivarius and I loved the pairs I got there. So the Stradivarius ones cost a bit more than the Primark ones, but um, definitely worth the money because the quality is super high. So I tried on so much more, like I ended up just buying the jeans because I needed jeans, but I ended up trying out so much and all that gave me adrenaline like i was so excited by the time i was leaving the mall i was still excited and it was almost midnight so when i got home <laughs> i couldn't fall asleep like that is what cost me a lack of sleep yesterday um adrenaline from shopping <laughs> so as you can tell i really do have a bit of a problem or a big problem depending on how you look at it and it is shopping i think everybody has their little guilty pleasure their little sin their little vice <laughs> And mine might just be shopping. I don't drink, like I don't take alcohol at all. I am not a foodie. I like to travel. Just when I was, you know, in Kenya, I didn't do much of it. But yeah, <laughs> so my eyes are swollen, and they will be for a better, but a better part of today because they will be swollen for a better part of today because I didn't sleep at all. I think I may have gotten an hour or something of sleep, but that is very little, and I have a long day ahead of me. So. <laughs> still panting because I'm walking to the plaza. I'm already tired because I walked a lot yesterday also. But I'm happy. So guys, I defied a traffic rule because <laughs> I'm here already. Like I told Sophia, 20 minutes. It is 20 minutes. So 
yeah. I guess I've also learned to be accurate here because everything is so in time or on time and it's only right that I also be in or on time. Take a vertical one. <laughs> like a temporary what? Exhibition? I think the flash ruins artwork or something because even in Prado, well, at first they were telling people not to take photos with the flash, but I think people were not listening. That's why they decided you can't use your phone inside Museo del Prado. I think the flash ruined something. I'm not sure what. Mm -hmm. I've always wondered what goes through an artist's mind for him to paint something like that. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus they paint what's on their mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. Rafael Zarita. Like this now. Like what is the logic behind it? I don't know. It's like he is painting himself as can you like take me here next to his heads?
interesting. You know, I usually go home and I watch all these short clips just so I can see what I was seeing because like now I don't have so much time to look properly. So if I have a video, I go and watch them all. Like I really enjoyed watching the Toledo films that I took, yet I was there. <laughs> Thank you. 
this reminds me of the kings in the charts. <laughs> Like Mary or something. Yeah. It's like, oh, I don't know if it's Mary holding Jesus. Because <laughs> then it's that's why you see of a mother like this holding a baby, it's usually Jesus. And to, like when you see the storyline, it's just so religious. <laughs> Even in Prado, like the ones that had the religious paintings, like they were so nice. Like the people who did them. <laughs> It's like a lot of anger. <laughs>
Yeah, now it's nice. It's not cold, that's not, so, not warm. <laughs> it looks really nice. It's like the origin of man. This is what we learn in school in Africa. Neolithic man, Paleolithic, like Homo sapiens. <laughs>